Netflix has just announced a brand new Silence of the Lambs remake, and no, I'm just joking, okay, because this man right here, this man right here had to show up with a spit guard, had his hands all taped up, chained to his waist. Now, why did he have to do that? Well, because very recently, he decided to hop over the judge's bench, and maybe we can see that right here real quick and show you as to why he found himself in such, you know, a crazy garb, but... All of a sudden, the judge reading off, not entirely sure what she was reading, but then all of a sudden, he just decides to go, you know, just super fly splash style and take the judge out from behind her desk. So the felon who attacked the judge in court appears before her again. Yo, man, big kudos to that judge for just turning up once again, uh, this time in shackles and a spit mask. Yeah, Las Vegas felon seen in a wild courtroom video pummeling a judge after launching himself over the bench appeared before her again on Monday. Only this time, the court wasn't taking any chances for a repeat performance. Deborah Redden, 30, uh, was uh, marched into Clark County, er, Clark County District Court Judge Mary Kay Hults room under heavy guard wearing shackles orange mitts and a full face spit hood wait deborah is this dude's name all right extreme security measure called to uh, uh, called to mind an iconic scene from the 1991 film silence of the lambs oh shit in which cannibalistic serial killer dr dr hannibal lecter portrayed by anthony hopkins was memorably wheeled around while strapped to a dolly and donning a straight jacket and face mask yeah and Dr. Lecter didn't even have to jump over the bench at anybody like that, performing such great physical feats. Uh, Redden uh, appeared shortly after 9.30 a.m. local time and continued a sentence hearing for earlier baseball bat attack. Interesting. Probably he's going to end up getting a higher and stiffer sentence for attacking a judge. The original, he er, the original hearing was halted last Wednesday when he superman uh, superman at ho, I mean you, over the judicial bench as a now viral attack was described described by Jerry Weiss, the court's chief judge. On Monday, Hulse, 62, finally got to sentence her attacker of 19 to 48 months in prison for his baseball bat assault last April. Okay. That's kind of crazy. During the three-minute hearing, you know, she made clear that she was not stressing or modifying the sentence in the wake of her own courtroom ordeal. What the hell? Redden, who had already had a long rap sheet, and beat somebody, beat the brakes off of somebody with a baseball bat and only got 19 to 48 months and then continued to add to it. You wonder why there's such efference to law enforcement today. Did not speak while standing flanked by several marshals. Uh, he is due back in front of the judge. Oh, in front of a different judge on Tuesday to face charges connected to attack on Hulse. Oh, okay, that totally makes sense. I'm glad somebody had sense about them to charge him. But yeah, no, obviously, there you go. You have your comparisons right there, okay? I would have thought the straight jacket would have been a nice touch on that one. But I, I like the little swimmies that he has on his hands. Those are pretty nice. Uh, his attack last week came uh, as he uh, desperately pleaded for Hulse uh, not to give him prison time for the April baseball attack, telling the judge he was a person who never stops trying to do the right thing no matter how hard it is he, apparently he was just also trying to help her it's like ah oh, man there's just this awful fly that's circling around your head your honor and i just was trying to get that for you or i thought i seen a laser dot manifest on your forehead and i just thought that you really needed to get down and nobody was doing anything about this so i was really trying to help you save your life i only want to do the right thing in life come on i'm not a rebellious person he told her but if it's appropriate for you then you have to do what you have to do. Hulse rejected his request for probation, given the three-time felon's history. Huh, you've been charged with three felonies before. You have a long rap sheet, but I always try to do the right thing. Try, but baked into that premise is also that sometimes you fail. I understand. When he tried to clear the bench in a single bound, he tried... But he did fail. He ended up clipping his shins. That must have been awfully painful. Not as painful as the back of her head smashing off the back of that wall. Yo, know, yo, man, that sucks. Hopefully he had a little extra hairspray in the back of that poodle perm that you have right there. Terrible. Yo, that gift is hilarious. I'm gonna let that play down there in the corner. Redden, who was not shackled at the time, was about to be handcuffed when he erupted and expletives vaulted. A defense table leaped over the judge's bench and landed on top of Hulse, knocking her off her chair. Made it, I just would have also really would have liked if the 
office chair that she was sitting on if it would have got overturned in one of the office wheels which just would have went ee -er, ee -er, ee -er. that would have been great uh, the shocking video showed the judge falling back against the wall an american flag toppling on top of her and redden as people in the courtroom screamed the felon later described by hulz as a big strong and angry well there's one other descriptor you could have thrown on top of that that was probably racing through her head at the time of the attack had to be wrestled off the judge by her clerk michael lasso and several court and jail officers some of whom threw punches justifiably so lasso was treated for cuts on his hand and is oh and a marshal was hospitalized for a dislocated shoulder and a large gash on his forehead that required required 25 stitches but the only thing that happened to the judge was she got a bump on the back of her head. Yo, that's crazy. Hul's hair was pulled and her head was slammed against the wall. She suffered some injuries and pain requiring medical attention, but she went back to work the next day. Tough old bag. She remained sore and stiff, er, stiff, but was thankful that... This was a not more severe, Huis later said. Redden uh, later blamed the attack on having a bad day. <laughs> it said he was trying to oh kill Hulfs, uh, according to court documents. What? Uh, he was having a bad day and he was just trying to kill her. But you know, don't really, you know, don't hold him accountable for that. A judge has it out for me. Redden was quoted as complaining to the officers. Judge is evil. Ah, he was just trying to exercise the demons out of her. Get out of her, demon. Get out. Redden was jailed on $54,000 bail in connection with courtroom fracas, but refused to return to court the next day on new charges. Uh, he is now set to face that case on Tuesday. Oh man, hopefully he ends up getting the justice he so desperately needs. He uh, faces a slew of new felony, er, felony and misdemeanor counts, including extortion, coercion with force, and battery on a protected person, referring to the judge and the other officers who rushed to her aid. Good luck trying to uh, negotiate your way to a lighter sentence on that one. I don't think any of her co-workers are going to find that same level of leniency that you were trying to elicit from her to begin with. I try to do the right thing. I'm just, it was just, a, I was the wrong place at the wrong time, your honor. Please give forgiveness upon me. Redden's extensive criminal records includes prior convictions for three felonies, nine misdemeanors, most recently in 2021, where he served time in prison for domestic battery. Big shock on that one. Somebody who decided to leap a defense table in a single bound is a career assault enthusiast. Big shock on that one. He's been violent his entire life, District Attorney Steve Wolfson said. You don't say you don't say somebody who decided to go full soldier boy on him i mean you soldier boy and the superman dead ho i mean you like what what are we doing come on what, what the hell are we actually doing out here and the fact that this picture this picture right here is being used as oh look at this inhumane and un unjust treatment that are out there there is just a such a level of stockholm syndrome when it comes to some goofy liberals that are out there it's absolutely wild i don't know why the spit hood was necessary but at the same time okay somebody who turns up you know that's just that lurched look forward it's like what, what, what you do in the courtroom right now huh bro like you want to try something right now he would probably still have the audacity if anybody was looking at him crossways in order to just try to you know punk him out right there okay if i was looking as scary as that you know i might be inclined to as well but then at the same time I wouldn't be finding myself in that type of a situation because okay cool fool me once shame on you fool me twice you've got a rap sheet as long as those chains that are wrapped around your waist like why even waste why waste the court space on this one just throw this goof in the clink for as long as he can reasonably be in there for we're going to continue to have this blatant disrespect for authority if because authority simply allowing this to happen okay like they said long rap sheet this guy is a career felon okay this guy is somebody who clearly doesn't take punishment appropriately we're seeing society fall around us, okay? Brick by brick, piece by piece, it's all just fallen by the wayside. Oh my God, there's no way that we're ever gonna crawl ourselves out of this one and all that other, you know, goofy crap that's thrown over the top of this. If you're gonna have everybody in the courtroom and there's a lot of money to make sure that he doesn't decide to do a repeat attack on that judge, fly across the table once more. There's, a, yeah, like I said, a lot of money at stake right there. A lot of taxpayer dollars, okay? So if you're gonna go through this entire rigmarole, if you're gonna set everything in motion right there, why not just put the 
the penalty at such a stiff level where you're actually going to have a deterrence from the public. Okay, you get snatched up on a simple battery. Great. Five years minimum. Just start having these uh, ludicrous for people that are actually guilty. Okay, like just to have those steep penalties for people that it's beyond a shadow of a doubt. It's been proven by a jury of your peers and you're going to be going away for a long time. That's how you reinstitute level of trust in society. That's how you start to drop down these negligent criminal acts. Okay, you would stop seeing just such deleterious behavior in the community if there were steep penalties. They want to complain about being locked up so much. Give them a good fucking reason behind this stuff. Lock them away for a long enough time where there's actually lessons to be learned instead of simple platitudes to be handed out. Oh, he's just a good boy who didn't do nothing. Next time somebody decides to hop over the bench, that judge might not be so lucky as to just simply take a bump on the back of the head. It could be a hell of a lot worse. It seems like some people are really rolling the dice in order to figure that out. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.